What's up guys, it's uh, Charles here for another review. Well, sounded like I forgot my name in there. But, um, Deja Vu, doing another Voltron review. I think uh, at this point we have so many Voltrons we don't even know what to do anymore. We got the um, Soul of Chogokin one, we had all those, um, the Chinese ones, what were they called, the TPO ones or whatever. Uh, the Blitzway, we got uh, uh, this one, which is uh, the one from 3.0, we just reviewed the... Um, Yes, Gokin. So there's a lot of Voltrons, right? And uh, we're just going to see uh, what this is all about. But uh, I got a joke before we uh, start, guys. Uh, what are robot cookies made out of? Wrong. They're made out of robo dough. Get it? Robo dough. I guess that's how you pronounce it like dough, like cookie dough. Anyway, yeah. Horrible joke. Yes, I am a dad. So, anyway. Um, we're looking at the box here now. I, I pretty much need to start shooting in vertical video soon because look at this review area so tiny. My once gigantic empire of robots and uh, or review areas for my robots is now uh, down to this little teeny little table. But I think this is enough. It makes it more like personal, which is the excuse I use when I cry about how small my review area is. Uh, but anyway. This is the box art for the 30 Voltron, which uh, we've been waiting for. I'm a little bit um, excited, and I'm also a little bit concerned as I'm seeing a lot of, you know, not so great reviews on this guy. Uh, so we'll see what that is all about, and I'm going to give you my opinion. You guys know that my reviews aren't necessarily like the end-all, be-all of reviews. I I tend to, you know like something enough and I don't play with it much so I really don't get into the uh, the whole uh, length of um, uh, uh, what's the word help me out guys what's the word the um, longevity of the what am I even saying I don't even know what I'm saying here guys anyway so uh, I pretty much look at the, the things for the way they are I'll point out you know some crappy stuff maybe I'll even break it because that seems to be like the thing I do but um yeah, this is the back. First of all, the, the artwork. I like it. It looks a little bit like uh, amateurish, like they just went a little bit crazy. But I do love, I got to say, um, I do love the way they did this. This is definitely reminiscent of the Go Lion boxes and like the Lion bots and everything. I kind of wish this was like a, or maybe they'll release one. Uh, if you guys are listening, 3-0, make one with the Go Lion, you know, uh, box art or something. Just something really cool. Anyway, I think we spent way more than enough time looking at this guy so let's go ahead and open this and uh check out the oh actually first of all i gotta show you this the velcro is amazingly strong the first time you do it and um there's a piece of paper which hot well first of all let's take a look at this i keep saying first of all a lot but look at the way they do the transformation sequence i mean just looking at this guys it looks like a gx71 right and then it's got like the, the panels on the arms here, which we're going to check out in a moment, just like Blitzway. So what do we have in store here? So let's take a look. Uh, so there's the display window. It looks much cooler in person, guys. It's just there's not a lot of light hitting it because of this flap here. I'll try and turn it this way. Even then it just glares. But it's a cool little display window in the shape of the crest. But uh, let's get in here, guys. I blab too much all of a sudden. Well, not all of a sudden. You know what I mean. All right, so he's in a plastic clamshell. No surprises there. I mean, that's what they're doing now. And there's nothing wrong with it, really. Um, so there's two levels of trays. We've got the main tray with the lions, which is pretty hefty, actually. And then we got this little cheesy-looking tray. I almost burped there. And it's got a little, like, it's not tape. It's like a little saran wrap kind of thing, I guess, protecting everything, which is kind of weird. Would have been cool to just have a little clamshell holding it in or... Just snapping, kind of, but whatever. Anyway, let's take out some lines. All right, guys, so here are the lines, uh, just the way they came out out of the box. I have not played with these. I think maybe I took a couple pictures for Facebook of, of like the red lion or whatever. But I have not formed it. I've not put them into like lion mode or whatever. Uh, but it was a couple of things I noticed, and I'm sure I'll go over it in the rest of the review. But the die cast placement is going to be different, and it's, it's like they. Um, each release they kind of like uh, test out where the die cast should go and I found it pretty interesting where they are on these um, start with the arm lion so they already come 
in the ARM version here and pretty much everything's already set to form Voltron. We will not do that till the end. But you'll see it's got the little flaps here just like the, the Blitzway. All right, the red line looks pretty cool. The only thing I don't like is that the uh, mouth <laughs> kind of goes in all the way so it looks like it's it's got like an overbite. I mean that's just a, an adjustment thing there. Same thing with the I thought it was, I thought the green line was going to do it. All right, maybe not. So uh, the red line does that. The green line. I feel like the heads might be a little too small, right, compared to the this part here. But I guess that just makes it look a little bit better uh, in robot mode. And then my favorite uh, lion here, which is the yellow lion. Again, it's got these little flaps here and uh, the legs. And by the way, uh, as far as the die cast. Um, for example, on the leg lions, you got the die cast here, this red piece, and then the front legs. I didn't feel metal. I'll make sure to check that later. Oh, actually, the rears might be metal. All right, yeah. So, never mind. So the legs are metal, sort of like the um, the Bandai. I think the Bandai's uh, GX 71s uh, legs are metal also, except these are not chrome. And you know what? I kind of prefer it this way. It's a shiny, like silver. So it can kind of like almost look like chrome from a distance. I prefer this because if you guys see my GX71 looks like a big fat turd. And then we got the blue lion here. I think the lion legs lions are some of the coolest. I mean they're all cool, right? So and then of course black lion which you saw me pick it up really quick compared to these guys. Um it feels light, but it might just be for the size. So I think it would be kind of cool if we just like kind of weigh these. I don't know if anybody's done that in other reviews, but it's going to be a lengthy review with all my blabbing and doing all these little weird things. But I think uh, it'll just make it a little more thorough. What do you guys think? Yeah? All right, let's go. By the way, I do want to thank my Patreons. You guys that are left, I know uh, Patreon's a little quiet. I don't really have anything cool to do on there. But thank you guys because this was one of those things I got for the channel. And uh, we're going to turn this on, obviously. And let's try uh, the Red Lion. We're gonna do, we're gonna do grams. I do a lot of stuff in grams. Like you guys can always Google the difference here. But this guy is 77 grams. That's the red lion. We got the green lion at 74. Hmm, that's quite a difference, huh? Three gram difference, right? Did I say this one was 77? Yeah, that's weird. That's a good amount. Um, let's do blue lion. We got 220 grams, and we got yellow lion here somewhere. But he's heavier. Oh, no, he's actually lighter. What is this, 220? Yeah, they're almost identical, by the way. So, yeah, it's off by one gram. And where's Black Lion? What did I do with Black Lion? It's over here somewhere. He's probably the heaviest one. 268. So it almost feels like he's lighter, but it's only because of his size compared to these. These, because they're more compact weight, they kind of feel maybe like they might be heavier. But obviously Black Lion's heavy, as he should be. Heavier, as he should be. And all of them together are 862 grams. And for you guys that really want it in pounds, I gotta stop burping. Um, almost two pounds. So we're gonna put these guys into lion mode and then we're gonna check out the individual weapons for each one. Uh, but again, this is like Blitzway. You're gonna lift this up, right? You're gonna bring the legs down. And then this folds also like the Blitzway. It's got the little hinge there and Get that out of the way, push it in, see that, and it goes away. I think this is a great, you know, design. I'm sure this is why these guys chose to do it. I mean, there's really no other way around it. Uh, you can go the ES Gokin route, which was just to remove the legs altogether and put little alternate pieces, but I think for something of this size, this is a great option, or something of uh, the Blitzway size. Um, I think that's great. So we're going to get these in lion mode and check them out. By the way, we got to attach these tails also. I guess it's optional, but other than that, it just looks really weird. And even with the tail, it looks pretty weird, but better than, than nothing, I guess. All right, so now that we're there on the uh, leg lines, I'll show you how the, the back of this uh, folds in. So they tab into the leg. You'll see there's a little hole there for the tab. You got to pull the leg out and kind of bring it out as far as you can. Fold this in, get the leg out the way, and hopefully it snaps. But... In this case it doesn't. I don't know if you can see the hole in there. It just there's nowhere to snap. Um, which is weird. That's a very big hole there. And have a little small tab, so 
it's kind of weird. Let's see if the other side's like this. I didn't notice it on the blue line, but I guess they are like that. All right, at least it stays in there. So you can bring the legs around. And so far, you know, the lines, well, get into that in a second. It doesn't look too bad. Um, just trying to get the tail. You're supposed to push down on this little, there we go. All right. So we got them there. Let me make sure we line them up. So I did the arm lions first. So a couple of things. There's really no space for this leg to go forward. I mean, there is. You got to bring it out. But if you bring it out too far, the leg pops off. There's a metal joint in there at least. But you can see even if you pop it out, it lays against this tab. So you do, if you want to move it, you got to pull it out so you don't friction against the paint here and either leave red on the silver or silver on the red whatever the case may be I think both these panels are painted judging by the glossiness so I think that was a little weird and you'll see it even has like this gap they're not flush and I'm sure that has to do with the way the design is once you fold them out but it would have been nice to have this flush against there without that lip uh, to get in the way of the legs which is why I have the legs all awkward like that Right, because that's I don't even think that's how lions stand or whatever. It's more like this, isn't it? Like a knee. Um, the fronts, you know, move a lot better out this way, like the stance. So that's cool. So, so far, that's not bad. Um, you know, you got all the different articulations, and this has a neck. I didn't take the neck out of the green lion. We'll show you the green lion next. Hopefully this pops out without any issues. Of course there's going to be issues. So, um, well there's a neck right there. And, alright, so that's going to be weird to get back in there. So the neck, there we go. Oh, I didn't think I was going to get it out. We're popping out again. But same thing, same issue here. This doesn't really uh, give space for the legs. And I had a hell of a time trying to get one of these sides to snap. So. Uh, lion mode is definitely not my favorite. Now they do look good. Uh, the articulation guys, I'm not going to go too crazy unless I see something different from all the other ones. But it's very basic. You get this kind of movement here. You can probably do the crouch. I'm not doing that. Uh, I don't want this to be a crazy long review. But again, it's just, just more of the same. You know, you're not, we're not breaking any new ground here when it comes to Voltron. Uh, what I do like is that this does have the, the cool little swivels you know on the pause here but they don't uh, go this way so like this type of movement but they do uh, angle this way <laughs> so got something there and then obviously the jaws go out uh, this much we already seen how far it goes in let's take a look at the blue lion uh, which was the leg lines you get uh, articulation here and I like the way they left the little I'm sorry if I go off camera the, the little gap here so that you can move it this way and still have that flap you know, uh, give space, and then you get the side to side movements right there. Um, and then just got the built in neck here, which is very similar to the to the uh, solo chogoking one, right? And they all have these little heels too, so that's very similar. So, so far, like I feel like if, if I'm looking at a video of this, I feel like I would be mistaken that this is the GX71. Um, and then more of the same with the yellow guys. Uh, nothing, again, groundbreaking here. Get the mouth that opens. Little missile in there. Uh, I do have to look at the instructions because I'm not sure exactly all the, the way the weapons are working. Do the, please, no, nobody's done the opening ears yet. All right. Shows you I didn't look at the instructions yet. But, um, yeah, again, nothing truly groundbreaking here. Uh, but I will say I do prefer... The legs the way they're painted i thought they were just going to be straight up silver they do have a chromey look to them which to me that's probably the way i would want it uh, what i still can't get over guys is why they can't just make the silver white just like the original toys um they look fine but we all know what we're, what we're talking about here anyway let's go ahead and look at the uh the black lion all right, guys, here's the black line. I did my best to kind of pose him, you know, with the crouching stance. You know, you can kind of do that. He looks a little weird. It really looks like he's, like, about to take a dump. Like, eh, bloop. But, um, 
so far, I, th I think the black line is pretty cool. Um, it's pretty straightforward. Again, I have not looked at the instructions. Uh, I don't think we're going to find anything amazingly cool. I will look at them before we uh, wrap up, but uh, it was easy to get this guy into black line. I mean, it's pretty much exactly the same as every other one. He's got the little things that open here to put the arms away. He's got the tail that comes out from the back. He's got the ab crunch. He's got the folding wings. There's only so many ways you can, you know, do up a figure, uh, you know, before it becomes something completely different. And this is not uh, completely different by any means. Um, so we'll look at the um, the weapons on these guys. So here's the instruction manual. It looks like it's going to be full color, but it has all the weapons here, and obviously the what's contained in the set. So let me take a look at this, make sure I'm not missing anything major. And we'll go ahead and continue with the weapons. You got the warranty card, which I recommend. Even though uh, I did try to do a warranty claim and it was just a pain in the butt. I mean, they were responsive. But they were pretty much telling me that uh, it's impossible that uh, their uh, whatever uh, was missing a piece on one of the other things. But whatever. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. Um, but it does matter, I guess. But here's the, the instructions, so they're pretty clear and, and colorful. So, uh, yeah, I'll take a look at this and then show you guys what it looks like with all the weapons attached, and then uh, keep it moving. All right, guys, so I got all the weapons here, and as I was taking this out, I was thinking to myself, am I getting burnt out on Voltron? You know, because there's just so much, and I feel like they're just making stuff just to make it. I don't really see anything groundbreaking. I think the, the I think the peak really was honestly, and I know a lot of you guys will disagree. I think the peak was GX seventy one, and then like Blitzway just you know took it like a step further. But I don't necessarily know if it's uh, I'm gonna get a lot of heat for that. But I don't know if it's better. But it is better. But I don't know if you guys know what I mean because uh, you know half the time I have no clue what I'm talking about. But I think between the GX-71 and, and the um, the Blitzway, I think that was pretty much the peak. Not that this is bad, guys, but I'm just, I feel like I'm just reviewing the same stuff over and over. But we're going to take a the look at the weapons. Silver. So, again, no chrome. And that's, that's either a good or a bad thing. I like it because I can actually touch the blade and not worry about having to wax it or polish it after. Or worry about fingerprints. But at the same time, it kind of kills, like, the look of it, right? And then you got the space cutter, right? Is that what it's called? I think I forgot the name of that in the last review. And then all the weapons for all the lions and, of course, the little mouth blades. And this spinner cutter thing here, which uh, I'll be showing you guys in a second. But let's go ahead and get them all outfitted with their weapons. And then finally we'll form Voltron. And yay! Now some of you may be watching this video and thinking like, Hey, Charles, are you not going to show the articulation and all that stuff? You know what, guys? Uh, there's not enough difference in these to really warrant like going over it you know what i mean like if you've seen one you've seen them all so far if you have the gx71 pretty much the same exact thing like it's even got these little cool little uh spring loaded pieces so that you don't have holes back there which is nice because we do know the solo chogokin one um didn't have that you have to actually get the metal or aftermarket uh, thighs for that uh, and it does have this little spring loader thing on the neck here to fill out the hole. So, I mean, there's some improvements, but as far as articulation, we're really not, you know, uh, going crazy with these. Just like that they add that little articulation there, the extra thing. But anyway, we're looking at weapons. This weapon in the mouth, I can't really get uh, in there. I guess that's the best I can do. Let's get all these other guys outfitted, shall we? All right, we got them with the weapons. All right, so let's check them out. Let's start out with the little lines first. We got the red line here. Oops, his thing came down. This little thing pops open right there. And he's got his little, I forgot what this is called, but it's got that little blue rectangular beam that comes out. And he's got this launcher on the side. And, of course, his mouth blade, which is nicely detailed in the appropriate colors. And the green lion, right? His mouth blade, of course, his blaster and these little spike missile things. Oh forgot to do this part he's got that weapon also right there all right let's move on to the blue lion all right the blue lion's got his blade i think this is one of my favorite weapons when i used to play with these i always used to put this on the yellow lion because i thought it was cooler on the yellow lion but uh yeah so the way the the ones are held uh 
on all the lines except for the black are with a tab under the mouth and for the most part most seem to close around it fairly well uh, except the yellow line which I'll show you in a minute and of course I just realized this opens so here's that okay which is pretty cool the way it's detailed there all right and the yellow lion can't get his mouth to close around it so it just looks weird like it's literally hanging out the top of his mouth but that's because of that little missile thing there you can kind of close it but I guess the spring just doesn't snap in that next detent so it just stays like that it's a little hard to put this on without you know really pushing up against the teeth I didn't really like that because uh, I'm sure the teeth are painted and I don't want it to leave marks on here if you care about that stuff but he's got the rest of his weapons here and uh, let me see if anything happens with this and then we'll take a look at Black Lion so the thing I noticed about Black Lion he likes to look down doesn't can't really get his I can't at least get it to go any further the neck up and then the head just hits there and of course this falls off easily there's really nothing to tab to because the head is there and if you push the head up and bring this sorry always off camera bring this in here it's really just held on with the teeth and of course this cannons uh, which I didn't push in all the way but they just jam right into the side here but yeah it's got all the weapons that we have come to know and love this one is just chilling there but that's for later so we are finally gonna go get these guys into Voltron so guys so far uh, putting this into lion mode is identical to everything else out there including the original even the little panels here look the same except the buttons at the bottom instead of having that little hinge right here or it has a hinge there or well, the other one you know what I mean it's pretty similar um, lion legs also in the front also uh, hide away like pretty much all the other ones just goes like that and then you close this thing over it I also wanted to show you this interesting joint that I came across here while uh, transforming him so that is uh, die cast metal right there so you don't really have to worry too much about breaking that Okay, right, so we're gonna get this uh, together I'm just gonna press this button down here just to get it going I think you could just push this down and clip it, it just makes it a little easier without um, getting stuff scratching you guys know how much I hate scratching stuff that feels like it could scratch something but uh, hopefully not let's try that again okay so that leg is on we're gonna do the same with the other one so far so good we're gonna get the red lion on now, a lot of people put the red lion arm like that but we all know there's that poster that hangs out there where the arm is like this so that's the way I'm gonna put mine here and that just snaps in right there like so and then the green lion alrighty and then I'm so professional just gonna do this and I'll form the head -wee, bring the head open the head boom all right guys so uh, here he is in uh, Voltron mode it does look nice right he does look really nice does he look any better than anything else out there no looks just as good what I do love is the uh, the face sculpt the head's not too small the lips aren't too weird by the way he didn't come with like an extra face or anything that would have been cool maybe they'll do like a special BBTS exclusive or something where they'll do something different but who knows they'd like to do that with BBTS but um it looked good I like the lack of chrome that's one thing I will say I'm always weird about touching chrome and this one I don't have to use any special gloves not that I typically do but I've tried to and the plastics are shiny the paints are very nicely done by the way wherever it's painted it's it's a gloss paint which is really nice and again the chrome I really like and it looks good he may look a little plasticky because of the uh, the silver and because he pretty much is plasticky there's no like surface uh, like you can't just like grab the leg here or you can't even see what I'm doing can't just grab the thigh here and be like oh that's that's die cast oh this is die cast metal no it's it's not like that it's more like a uh, you feel that it's there it's hefty and by the way look at this have you seen any Voltron be this solid I mean this is solid that's what I want to tell you guys it's super solid that that scores a, a 10 right there 
uh, as far as solidity. Is that a word? Solid solidity? But, um, and it's not super light. As a matter of fact, is it even worth uh, weighing it now? We weighed it before when it was separate. Is it going to weigh different together? No, I don't think so. So it's about two pounds. Let's go ahead and get the GX71 next to it. So guys, there's the GX71 next to it. And um, you can see they look very, very similar. I mean, <laughs> they're, they're so similar. They almost look like the same figure. Like they they pretty much uh, copied uh, the other one, right? Um, you see a lot of similarities. There's like some some degrees of like uh you know differences like right here instead of making it a sharp corner on the crest they kind of angled it off you know but pretty much there's so much that's similar as a matter of fact check this out i got to take the uh this thing off the stand here but look at the the shoulders like look at how similar the shoulders are take a look at that right Where, where's my finger right there and then take a look at that it's boom 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 look how dusty this guy is and um, you know there's not many differences I mean you're trying to make the the Voltron it's gonna have to look a certain way and they're gonna end up looking very similar especially if you're using uh, if you're uh, if these guys are are getting like uh, you know that artwork that they send you that they say it should look like this references reference material they gotta make it look like the reference material that's probably why there's a lot of similarities but really, there's a lot of similarities. Now, the similarities don't just stop with the GX71. This guy uh, actually also uh, borrows from Blitzway. So let's take a look at the Blitzway. By the way, guys, if you're wondering why my GX71 is taller, uh, first of all, uh, the waist is extended because I like him to be tall. And second of all, I have those aftermarket metal um, thighs so otherwise they would probably be pretty much the same size so I don't have an extra GX71 that's without those upgrades to show you but I'm sure you can find pictures out there but let's go ahead oh and more even even the tails the tails look almost the same like you can probably swap them out except the, these are this one is a little bit bigger but you can see all the similarities and then one more thing that the yellow lion had oh where is it it's this one so I'm even confusing the two Right there, which we'll get into the weapons in just a moment, but um, that doesn't pop out like the um, the toy, but it does swivel up, which is cool. So again, a lot of similarities between these two guys. Let's look at the Blitzway. I have it somewhere. Okay, guys, never mind. After uh, picking up the Blitzway, yeah, the Blitzway is definitely the best version we have so far. Uh, the GX71 is still like my favorite to mess around with because I'm not afraid to break it or anything, but I still don't like the way the yellow line looks. Got these weird separated eyes, and that one looks pretty cool. But anyway, we're going to look at the similarities. So um, again, uh, most of the similarities are going to be um, with the GX71, but there's a lot. It's weird. This looks so much like the GX71 right now. Uh, we're going to look at the uh, the covers for the legs, right? Look at that, guys. The leg covers are almost exactly the same. Uh, the the style of them at least um, the way they fold so that's very similar um, as far as the arm lion since the red lion on this one is not turned uh, they're even similar right they're not exactly the same but they're very similar so I think this borrows heavily from both I wouldn't say heavily I mean the, the, it's there's only a couple of things but I think if we were to compare what this one looks more like, it's definitely the GX71. It's almost like the uh, like a hybrid. So if you want the Blitzway because of the leg uh, covers, and you want the GX71 because it's not as expensive, then this is a good option, I guess. Um, but we'll talk about that in a second. See which one I think is my favorite or what I feel about this I, I shouldn't even be telling you guys my favorite you should be judging from what you see uh, and again this isn't the most thorough review but um, at least I'll be able to give you some feedback so give me just a second so I was actually expecting much worse uh, seeing as some people were just you know I want to say bad mouthing it but they were just like a little bit surprised that it wasn't better I, again I I don't really have any complaints 
besides like just those little issues like the legs probably should have been able to expand a little further those panels were just rubbing up against the legs but as far as the way it looks I think it looks fantastic and um, I'm not gonna go crazy with all the poses but you can see all the poses this thing can do I mean this is probably one of the most posable ones except that sometimes the legs look a little bit weird when they get posed he starts to look a little skinny but if you leave him alone he kinda looks good um, I still think maybe the GX71 proportions uh, look better to me right maybe it's because I'm just used to it the most but this is very very close and uh, I would say if uh, this is 300 bucks by the way uh, and if you guys are interested in it uh, there's a link in the description below now as far as the 300 bucks you know we can get into the whole uh, expensive toy thing but we all know stuff is costing a lot of money 30 does make some great toys check out the Pat Labor stuff that's amazing the Ava stuff is pretty good um, but yeah this is their foray into the whole uh, Lion Force and I think they, they did a, a good job uh, whether or not uh, you guys think it's worth 300 bucks that's depends what 300 bucks is to you it is a lot of money it's a lot of money to me would I return this no I'm happy with it I don't regret buying it um, uh, but again I'm a pretty much a Voltron freak but at the same time it's nothing new uh, but I, I kinda like the fact that it's like a little blitz way so you can think of it that way it's just a little blitz way it's not necessarily cheaper than the uh, GX 71 if you want something uh, nice and solid this is definitely it GX 71 will wobble around if you shake it this again guys this does not this does not wobble look at this you know so very good uh, well built little plasticky I'm not gonna say it doesn't um, everything touch is gonna be plastic by the way but uh, most of the metal is kinda hidden you get um, the metal down here I think I did I show you guys that little heel here uh, the legs are metal on the black lion most of the metal is just going to be like inside but he's not a light figure he's two pounds so I mean he's pretty good for what he is but again it's 300 bucks a little bit hard to swallow but if you want something that's not going to uh, get cosmic rust on it very little upkeep looks great is built well and solid uh, and you're willing to put aside some of those little things I was complaining about uh, in lion mode this is a great Voltron as far as like which one I'd pick out of all of them it's hard to say guys I, I probably the wrong person for that I love them all but uh, if you do want to pick one of these up again the link is in the description below it's a great looking figure cool box um, can't wait to see if they do some kind of variations on this uh, exclusives one thing I, I probably wish they would have done and taken advantage of is is put in like the opening ears and in the pop-up head like they did on the vintage toys and stickers you know put the numbers on there and I guess they don't want to go too far and be like an identical copy to the GX 71 here's a couple of pictures from the instruction manual just to get you an idea of the different poses I mean there's, there's a lot of poses obviously but you know the standard you know crotch thrust and then you know the open leg stance which I, like, I, like I said it's just weird with the legs here this articulation is pretty good and then this one I can't even really tell what's going on here but he's kicking with the uh, rolling cutter and then like his leg is bent that way so you can see it's a lot of articulation nothing I'm gonna be um, putting this one through but guys thanks for checking out this little first look for me uh, with my new robo dough and uh, it's not the most thorough review pretty much just skimmed through it and talked most of the time but hope you guys still enjoyed it and uh, again if you want to pick one of these up the link is, is in the description below even if you don't buy anything or, or you don't buy this uh, please use the link it helps the channel a lot it makes them see that uh, you know views are coming their way or visitors are coming away from this channel which uh, will help me bring some more videos in the future guys but I think I'm burnt out on Voltron I think that's gonna be it for, for a while that's why I didn't do Blitzway and then I did these guys, so now I'm like extra burnt out. But uh, Blitzway wouldn't have fit in this little area anyway. But anyway, um, until next time, guys. Uh, bye.